in this class the poem of la bella dame sans mercy la bella dame sans mercy means a beautiful lady without mercy so la bella dame sans mercy this mean a beautiful lady without mercy okay in the last poem that is the quality of mercy in the poem we have discussed how a beautiful lady or a lady a beautiful lady with brain also can be a merciful lady how she has saved the life of antonio and the quality of mercy but in today's poem it is literally different from Ah, uh, the poem what we have studied in the previous classes that is on once upon a time and also the quality of mercy. See, in the once upon a time, the poet is ah uh, very much you know he is ah uh, with the great heart. I mean, heavily great grief heart that he is paying his ah uh, great griefs towards the Western culture and Western civilization. He is saying that the people of Nigeria they are adopted with the Western culture. and today they are treating none of us from the bottom of their heart everything for the sake of uh, their own uh, presentation to present themselves that they are good or they wanted to present themselves that they are gentle in all senses but literally from the bottom of their heart they don't want to uh, wish anyone or they don't want to invite anyone or they are not happy on anyone's success okay so in the second poem that is the quality of mercy written by William Shakespeare. It is an another contrasting poem, comparatively for the La Bella Dame Sans Mercy, that is, uh, the lady without mercy. So here, lady without mercy, a beautiful lady without mercy. This is the poem written by one of the youngest uh, uh, romantic generation poet, that is John Keats. Okay. so in the poem there are three characters one is the speaker himself okay second one is the knight or the king and the third one is a beautiful lady okay this knight or the king he falls in love okay that was a uh, it uh, see that was not exactly a love we can say that it is an infatuation okay infatuation means there is no love but immediately uh, we fall uh, for their attraction for example see there are two different words i like you and i love you okay when we look at something which is beautiful it is just like an attraction it is infatuation we you know like it but we don't love it okay so here see uh, all the dresses what you have you have loved it once and now uh, you know you will be having the best one dress which you choose among them see suppose if you have 10 dresses with you okay all are all the trend 10 dresses have taken by you and taken for you okay so if i ask you to choose one among them choose the best among them so that will be the most loved dress for you so in the same way here people or the uh, you know boys or girls on a certain age they start flirting with many other but they get married with a single man or a single person okay so here this poem that is la bella dame sans mercy this stands literally uh, quite different okay why because uh, this element is with a supernatural uh, elements i have told you that john keats he is much influenced by greek mythology and greek works and in greek mythology and greek works there is much introduction and there are much stories on the you know supernatural elements like immediately someone becoming invisible okay or someone magically creating uh, you know some future fortune uh, and there may be the curse there ma- there are some sins okay which are been blessed by somebody so these are all the things supernatural things which are been uh, you know uh, taught by the greek mythological stories okay so this john keats was much influenced and much interested in greek mythologies i have told you that now in india uh we give respect or we respect the people or we treat them as the great uh, when they speak english or when they speak so sophisticated english all of them they have considered as the best in you know uh, we 
we can uh, we consider them that they are well educated well cultured and they are from the uh, you know abode of heaven okay but initially english is just a language it is to get some knowledge so that is not exactly a future being an english professor it is my duty to convince you that we have to learn english but it is uh, you know the necessary to speak something or to convey our deeds is enough uh, that we will learn in the next lesson that is spoken english and broken english okay so now here why i have told you that see we like english and we respect english but when it comes to the point of mother tongue we love it very much okay so in the same way here love and infatuation are two different things attraction and love love is what we are ready to sacrifice everything for them and attraction is what there is a selfishness okay when we get that we when we come to know that there is no benefit from this particular part or from this particular element there we never go or we never follow such element okay so now here la bella dame sans mercy a knight or a king falls in love with a beautiful lady or he was attracted by a beautiful lady so what happened to him as uh, he follows her own way okay she, uh, you know just a day or uh, you know the quality time in a day he spends with her her okay so in a day he spends with her uh, you know within a day they both become so close that he prepares garland from his own hand and later um he makes her to sit on his horse and they ride all over the uh, forest okay they become close to each other and uh, later she invites him to his cave then there they have a romantic time he kisses on her lips for four times they give lip, lip kiss okay then later he conveys his uh, you could see now okay that is not a love that is a kind of a desire and a infatuation that knight had on seeing her beauty so beauty is what it should be there uh, see the love is what it should be there beyond the beauty for example see recently i had uh, learned i um, mean i was reading the news on facebook there were two engineers even today they are there two engineers from kerala she is extremely beautiful lady extremely means she was not less than any of the heroines of the south indian okay so she was extremely beautiful lady she was working in a railway department as an engineer uh uh you know in one of the electrical department unfortunately uh she got fired there okay she got fired and half of her face was completely burnt okay you you can't dare to look at her face okay such a worst condition she had okay completely her face was burnt and this guy uh, just you know it was just some 10 days uh, you know before of their marriage it was a love marriage and the person was also uh engineer in the same department so they both were electrical engineers uh half of her face was literally burnt you can search it is i think that is available on youtube also uh her eyes are burnt okay and her face it got a different dimension and you want to do the plastic surgery the doctor had said that it will it can be done only after two and a half years they have to wait till two and a half years to have the plastic surgery but you know this man okay uh, they postponed their marriage for one month because within 10 days uh, it was not a condition for her to recover herself so after 10 after one month or one and a half month she was able to stand properly uh, she had visible you know a good visibilities only one of her eyes could see I means now she lost her one visible eyes and only one pair of eyes is visible but she married her but he married her okay this is love she requested him many a time see whole life okay you have to spend a time with such a lady where a woman has a very ugly face okay a burnt face you can you cannot have a beautiful face of mind which will be earlier so he told her that i have loved a beautiful lady with a beautiful heart not a lady with a beautiful face okay so this is what she this is what a woman's love is okay or this is what a man's real love is so here now what the king has that is a kind of a infatuation okay that is a kind of an attraction i'm disconnecting with the connection okay so uh, she invites him to a cave 
there he kisses on her lips for four time and in written she wanted to give something as a token of love okay so not a token of love uh, means as a written gift we can say so she sings a lullaby or a sleepy songs for him he falls asleep and in the sleep he had a nightmare nightmare means a bad dream so in the bad dream or in the nightmare uh, he meets with many of the kings okay and also many of the knights kings and also the princes okay all of them they have been cheated by this beautiful lady and they have been arrested or imprisoned in one of the caves and when he certainly uh, notified this that this lady has been cheated them and uh, this lady has been arrested them and imprisoned them into a cave he immediately wakes himself up and he searches for the lady throughout the cave he doesn't get her so he understands that the lady has cheated him and she has not loved him for the sake of some physical pleasure she has come to meet him okay and this is the end of the poem uh, and to search her and to search for his future life he was wandering into the forest there comes the speaker and speaker ask him dear friend why are you wandering alone and there are no birds there are no you know there are okay there are no birds on the lake and there are no songs which are sung by the birds okay but you are wandering on the sea sides and you feel that you are much disturbed and there is a pain in your heart okay and what's the problem that you have just the speaker asked this question to a knight remember the speaker asked a question to the knight that see what the pain that you are having in your heart and why are you wandering all alone into the uh, forest what's the problem that you have on your side so the rest answers which is given the rest of the answer which is given by the poet it is all the poem throughout the poem he explains the story that he has received because of some technical issues i can't you uh, know share the slides today i'm engaging in my class on phone so uh, i can't share the slides now let me uh, read the poem and from the next class i will share the screen do you have book with you i'm asking you do you have book with you yes ma'am yes ma'am okay open the book please open the book because see i can't share the screen here i am facing some technical problem have you all opened the book Yes, ma'am. Shall I move with the first stanza? Shall I move? Are you ready with the book? Open the yes, poem. La bella dame sans mercy. Open the poem. La bella dame sans mercy. Have you opened? Yes, ma'am. What should I know? Have you opened or not? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I have given you the introduction of the poem, and also I have told you the short summary of the poem, uh, means about what the poem deals. Okay. So now look on the first stanza. Who oh, what can ail thee, knight at arms, alone and palely loitering? The sedge has withered from the lake, and no birds sings. See, the whole poem is in Old English language. Okay, so here there are some archaic words again. Archaic means Old English words. I will explain each of the words, and also we will go line by line. This poem takes certain time. okay means some uh, extra time to teach but it's okay okay uh, gradually slowly we will learn perfectly the poem carries 12 stanzas remember the poem that is la bella okay dame sans mercy is carrying 12 stanzas initially the same poem has written in france or written in french language it is written by elin carter the poem has been written by elin carter 
it was originally initially written in france or in french language okay so in the french language this is written by alien kardar the story is different uh, there uh, a knight was participating or actively participating in one of the wars and uh, you know the poem was been uh, has been written on the mournful death of the knight okay so here that poem that is alien kardar's poem it was consisting 100 stanzas and 1484 lines 100 stanzas and 1084 and 184 okay, uh, lines okay so that was in that was in france or that was in french language but today that we are learning it is in english language john keats was highly influenced by the french language poem that is la bella dame sans merci and he extract the same title from for his poem that is the beautiful lady without mercy okay so here let's come to the old words for oh, what can ail thee thee means t h e e if you have a pencil with you or a pen with you write the meaning of the word into your book remember if you have book or pencil with you, book and pencil with you or pen with you write the meaning of the word and your book okay mark the word ail and thee ail is what internal pain okay the pain from your uh, you know internal heart that pain can be felt and sensed but that pain cannot be uh, visible okay for example uh, the grief that still today we are conveying on the condolence of or on the saddest demise of our professor our beloved professor pradeep sir okay pradeep mantur gimat sir he was the most youngest energetic okay and the most honest fellow or the professor in our college okay he was known for his sincerity honest work and what not such a great professor he was and uh, see so here that ail or the pain which we all have today that is from the internal uh, heart okay that pain cannot be visible but that pain can be sensed and felt so here the poet says that for oh, what a can ail the knight at arms can ail the ailments the pain or the internal pain that everybody receives d t h e e d means you why wo you d means why wo you okay knight at arms here the phrase it is a phrasal verb knight at arms means a person a knight or a king who always uh, there in the uh, uh, works of women he always render his service for women exclusively for women some knights or some fellow workers are there they only help for women and they never help for the man okay so such kind of a persons are knight at arms okay knight at arms means a knight or a king who exclusively work or you know make his service who render service only for women so here the speaker is asking to the poet or oh, sorry the to the i mean the knight that who oh, what can ail thee knight at arms alone and palely loitering you are alone and palely means with a very pale face okay with a very deadful face you are uh, wandering here and there okay the sedge has withered from the lake and no bird sings the sedge sedge means flower okay the sedge means it's a flower which always been bloom at the bank of the rivers okay the flower sedge is always been bloom at the bank of the rivers okay so here at the bank of the river lake or the river there is no sedge flower and the birds are also not singing okay now it is a winter season and winter season in the western countries always it is known for loneliness okay and uh, a paleness and the life with emptiness okay winter season is always known for paleness loneliness life with emptiness okay so here why are you lone, uh, wandering here and there with the emptiness okay and you are uh, seeming that you lost something great so let us see the explanation here you don't <coughs> don't worry about the explanation i will share the slides <coughs> Okay, the poem opens with a question by an unnamed speaker. 
he asked a question to the knight that dear king knight okay knight at arms means a person who always give or render service for women you are wandering here and there all alone okay and what's making you to wander here and there all alone <clears throat> something is clearly wrong with knight he has loitering okay by himself around the edge of the lake and he is pale okay he is walking okay, at the edge of the or the, at the edge of the lake alone and his face is pale means he has a very sad and a plain face the speaker says that the sedge or a marsh plant have all died out from around the lake and no birds is singing so we are guessing that it's autumn or even early winter since all the birds have migrated and plants have withered the presence of the knight at arms reminds us of a medieval tales with the knights and the ladies in tower we think that this is the response to the king's intended okay means in the first stanza as i have explained you that the speaker is asking a question to the knight that see my dear knight at arms a king who is always there to serve to render your service only for women why are you wandering here and there with a pale pay face or with a plain face okay and what making you to have a pain in your heart then the rest uh, explanation or the rest of the stanzas are the answers given by this uh, knight okay so what is the answer how he explains his story into a poem we shall see in the next class okay so till then have a good time be safe stay at home and uh, yesterday we went with the saddest demise that we have lost a gem professor from our college so that is uh, you know that taught us how we should, you know the sir was extremely wonderful with his health and fitness but also unfortunately we lost him so this makes us to be serious regarding the covid 19 issues okay so start inserting your roll number start inserting your roll number if you have inserted the roll number be quick are you understanding the poem shagupta roll, roll number 170 unmute yourself shagupta are you there yes ma'am okay on your video for a minute shagupta on your video for a minute ma'am actually it's okay however you want have... <laughs> okay okay i can understand so are you following the poem yes ma'am okay how is it ma'am it is good it is good okay so we have done with the first stanza and uh, in the next class i do revise the first stanza then we shall go with the next other stanzas so are you all understanding the poem if you have any doubt or any difficulty you message me anytime if you have all inserted the roll number you can leave the meeting <laughs>